Hi, Douglas Simonson here coming to you from Mexico with another video designed to make you a better painter. Today we're going to talk about values. I've been teaching painting for a few years and one of the biggest issues I see my students having is with values. Or to say it more positively, uh, when my students start to really understand values and how to use them, their paintings improve dramatically. So, what are values and what is the difference between color and value? First of all, values. You can also say tone or tonal value. I'm just going to call them values in this video. What a value is is really just how dark or how light something is. Color is the hue or tint of the value. You can have value without color, like a grayscale painting, for example, or a black and white photograph but you can't have color without value. Think about it. Value is the degree of lightness or darkness of something. You can't have a color without a degree of lightness or darkness of that color. So what I'm trying to say really is that value is more structural. Value is the basic structure of your image, whereas color is just a decoration on top of that. Now that's not always true, of course. In a larger sense, color is really important in painting. But for our purposes right here today, value is more important than color. If your values are right, you can do just about anything you want with color. In fact, you can really screw up the color, and if the values are right, the painting will still work. But it doesn't work the other way around. Okay, I'm going to show you what I mean with a demonstration. I'm going to use a very famous cutout by Matisse called Icarus. I chose this image because it's very simple and it made it easier for me to prepare this demonstration. The colors are obvious, red, blue, black, and yellow. And the values are almost as obvious. The yellows are light, the red and the blue are medium, and the black is dark. Now, what would happen if we kept the color but made all the values the same? That's pretty different, right? Now, let's take the image and remove all the color, but keep the values. Notice that this time, the image doesn't change that much. Sure, we don't have the color anymore, but you can still see the relationships. Now, what if we take the image where we have just color, all the same value, and make that grayscale? Interesting, right? So, what's the lesson here? Basically, if you have color and value, you're great. If you lose the color, but you still have values, you're still okay. But if you lose the values, you got nothing. So, how can you use this new awareness of values to improve your painting? One of the best things you, could, you can do, and I really recommend it, is to do a lot of grayscale paintings. Doing grayscale paintings, getting rid of the color and just focusing on the values is going to give you a lot stronger base in how to use values and how important they are. And then when you go back to painting with color, you're going to find that your paintings are much stronger. There's another tool I want to talk about here that's very important and that is squinting. When I say squinting, I just mean half closing your eyes like this so that you Everything gets blurry and you lose all the details and to some degree you lose the color. This is very helpful because when you squint like that and things get blurry, you are just seeing the big areas of light and dark. You're seeing the big shapes. It's actually like an x-ray into the bones of the image because you're seeing the actual structure of the image. Take another look at the Matisse image where the values are intact and then the one where they've been removed and try squinting at it. Notice how the one with the values all the same kind of just fades into nothingness? That's a pretty powerful demonstration of the importance of values. Okay, there's a lot more I could say. There's a lot more detail I could go into, but I wanted to keep this short and simple. And I hope that it's helped you understand better the importance of values, the difference between color and values, and go do some grayscale paintings. It will make a big difference. Okay? Go paint!